Hi, and welcome to the Voice Library. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an account and a subscription. It's really, really easy, but I want you to see every step so you can get going right away. Well, of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is visit the Voice Library's website. That means you can either go to Google and type in the Voice Library, or you can go directly to thevoicelibrary.net. Now, once you're on the website, you're going to see two buttons in the top right. The first one, Login, is for existing customers. The second one says Join Now for new people. That's where I want you to click. So once you click the Join Now, you're going to open a new window, and you're going to see step one, which is to register your account. The first thing you're going to do is pick a username. So follow the rules that you see right below there. Pick a username. It can be pretty standard. Not many people are going to see it. Then you do your standard password. You can even look at it. Get your first name in there, your last name, street, city, state, your postal code. You're just going to enter all this information because the next step of doing a subscription is you might have to enter some credit card information. The big thing is get that email in there and make sure it's correct. So, you know, fill out everything. Tell us how you heard about us. Go back and double check that email because that's really important. Hit register at below on the button and you're on to step two, which is purchasing a new card. Purchasing a new card is actually where you're getting your subscription. So take a look. There's actually a free trial available, and there's several different options. A monthly, a five-year for $49, and a business and education per year program. So I'm going to stick the 49 the five-year one in there. I'm going to pick one. You're going to notice the screen reloads, so don't worry about that. You're just going to have to scroll down and do it again. I happen to have a promo code. If you have a promo code, enter it in this box. It's going to be important that you hit that little I to make sure that promo code is good. Once again, it refreshes. Oh, you see the green, you're good to go. Now the final thing you're going to do is hit checkout. Once you hit checkout, it's going to take you to the purchase information page. So if you put, this would kind of verify your credit card information if you had that. You hit continue, it makes sure it shows you that it processed the payment or your um, promo code. You're going to fill out the survey, that would be great. Um, and then hit continue once again and you're going to be inside of your account. Now before you do anything else, I want you to go check your email. Because in your email is going to be all kinds of important information. So jump to your email to see it says do not reply the voicelibrary.net. You might want to check your spam information. But here in your email you're going to see your subscription details, your name, the number, the purchase price, and really importantly there's some ID and PIN numbers. Now the next thing you're going to see is what to do next. So we can talk about recording your stories online, on the mobile app, by phone. You need to tell your listeners so when you're recording these stories, you can give them their information so they can hear the stories. So the final thing is down at the bottom of this email is a great activity guide. You're going to want to download that and save that to your computer. I happen to put it on my desktop, so I pull it up here, pop it open, and it's a nice little PDF file that has a lot of good information about how to use the voice library, the best ways to use it, different ways to use it. So you're going to want to take you know, some of the FAQs, take a look at those, figure out you know, how is it going to work for you. Finally, I hope you'll take the time to open an account, get a subscription, because the uses of the voice library are endless. How will you 